Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. I'm sure by looking at the name of the video, which I believe is going to be Coral Sea Solitaire Final Thoughts, and you're probably going, What the heck? You didn't even play the game hardly. Well, so that's what we're going to talk about Coral Sea Solitaire. So tell me, have you ever got a game and you're like, I don't know, man, something's Something doesn't sit right with me. Something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't make sense. I'm having all those feelings with this game after one turn. And I'm starting to question the game. And so I thought, well, you know what? Let's see if somebody else shot a video. Maybe if I see somebody else play it, uh, it'll make more sense to me. So I went out on YouTube and I searched it and I found my videos, of course, but then the only other videos I could find of the game was from the uh, book game that this was developed from. So they took a book game and they redid the rules probably and they converted it into a board game and published it. So I, I watched the video and, or part of one. And what they were doing in the book game made sense. They had, um, you had a mission, they were going after it, you kind of knew what your objectives were, you could see the search radius, all that stuff. And I'm like, okay, that, that, looks, that looks fine. But I don't get that in this game. So I thought, hmm, I did Midway Solitaire. What, and I'm trying to think back, what was it like? So pulled it off my shelf and I went to the back and as you can see my finger up here there's like squares as it moves across the ocean and then there were some down lower and as I was thinking about it, it's like yeah I remember now in that game we made choices about where to go so right out of the gate I had to make choices about where to defend what I can't lose those things. In this game, I didn't have that to start myself off. I started at this base, or a couple bases, and I got points I got to spend to move, and the Japanese are going to show up, and I don't know. It just doesn't, it's, not, it's just not sitting well with me. You know what I mean? So, I got to think about it. I got looking at it. I'm looking over at the game on the table. I'm thinking, okay, so here we go. So first move, I got these submarines out there. So when I read about the submarines, if it's a destroyer, if they don't have cruisers or carriers or anything else, the submarines don't attack. So in other words, my destroyer group out there, they don't attack that. But if my destroyers reveal the submarine, now the submarine counter goes back to the to the starting hex where it was enters the game at, and you re-roll and you re-enter it again. So these things keep, if I destroy them, they, and a turn later, they come back again. So, so these submarine counters that really, not really even getting why we're, we're messing with that. I mean, does it really matter in the game? Maybe it does. Maybe I didn't get far enough to find out, but I couldn't get past it. And then I have this whole Tulagi, invasion force which was one hex away from where they start what's the purpose of that see these are the things that are like boggling my mind i can't do anything about that one move they're there one more move they made the invasion and that one's over i can't even get there in two moves to prevent the invasion so what's the purpose of that why didn't they start farther away? or why even put that in the game what's it matter I just, these are the questions that I just can't get resolved in my head. And it's made the game so it's not interesting to me. Let me put it that way. I've, I've lost interest in it without even playing it because I just don't know why. You know, I'm, I'm moving my carriers. But I don't know where the Japanese are going to come in yet. And when they do, I'm not really sure where they're going to go. And in the book game... You had your two carrier forces, and then you had these Japanese forces that were going to move down to 
Fort Mosby, Moresby, and you had to get there and stop them. And there's an objective, and there's these the, these uh, other um, missions that were moving out there, and you were going to have conflict. And I could see, okay, that's cool. You're going to fight through there. Hopefully, you don't lose anybody. And then you're going to move down. You're going to hit that invasion force. That makes sense to me. This right now just doesn't make sense to me. That's my problem. So, you know, I've been playing games since, man, since I, that's, I mean, that's how we grew up, right? So going on probably not almost 60 years, um, I've been playing games. And the majority of them have been war games, with sports games, you know, chess, all those things. So I grew up playing games. We had family games at night. And sure, you run into a game that you're like, eh wasn't our thing, right? Bought a game once, my dad's like, and my dad played, he was a big gamer too. We played, he's like, nah, I don't, it doesn't interest me. I, we never played the game again, right? So sometimes you do those, you buy games, there's nothing wrong with the game, but at the end of the day, you're like, nah, don't really, not really interested in it. Not, not, not the theme. This game, when I bought this game, I looked at that thinking about Midway Solitaire, and I played the whole campaign on Midway Solitaire, and I'm like, cool, Coral Sea is going to be a lot like Midway Solitaire. I get it. I set it up. I make that first turn, and I'm like, I just don't get it. I don't get the feel that I, I, I should have some kind of strategy, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I didn't play it through first, but I've struggled with this for a week. It's been almost a week since I played that first turn and I just can't bring myself to play it. I don't know why. Maybe somebody else can tell me. Maybe somebody else can go, hey, if you make a couple more moves, this is you'll be all right with it. But I don't know. This is just one of the ones that can't get through it. So if you've got the game and you play it, let me know how you do with it maybe. Um, and And I can always set it back up and try it again. But for now, I think I'm going to take the game down put it away for a while, you know, maybe I'll bring it back out. Um, I've got, I got several games that I've still got, um, uh, expansions that I haven't played like Stuka Leader, Spruance Leader, I didn't play the Carrier expansion yet. Stuka Leader, I still got um, North Africa. I've still got more of the Eastern Front. I got the Late War. Um, I still got a lot of those. Um, and then, you know, I got new games that are coming. Um, I think, uh, the first one is, sorry, I got to look. Uh, it's, uh, skies above the Reich, which is the B-17 version. I have storm above the Reich. Um, so that's the B-24s. Then I'll have the B-17. And actually, um, I read where you can combine the two so that you could run into either B-17s or b 24 So I'll see how that one plays out. Um, I think that one will be coming soon. I have, is it, uh, I think it's Stuka Ace, which is coming from Multi-Man Published. No, not Multi-Man. Sorry about that, guys. It is Lock and Load Publishing. Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, Lock and Load Publishing. Uh, this is a game that I saw a year ago um, on uh, Zilla Blitz did it. And also um, Tony's Board Life um, also had an advanced version of it. And I got to see him play that. And I thought, that's a cool game. And I ordered it at that time. It's taken this long, but um, I see that they're getting close to um, getting the game shipped. From the timing, it looks to me like it's probably still going to be mid-August or late August, maybe, before we see it. Um, that's just my guess, uh, but that one's coming. Uh, for DVG, I've got uh, Warfighter Vietnam. That's an era that I love, and so I jumped on that as a chance. Uh, I think that's also going to be probably August when we see that one, maybe. So I may have a couple games pop in there at the same time. Uh, I got a couple other ones that are out. I don't have any delivery dates for yet. Um, so there's a few things still on the horizon. And then I've got the games that I've already got that I still like to go back and play. 
Uh, if you uh, see something that, that you've seen me play before and you'd like me to go through it again or something, um, then, you know, leave me a comment and I'll see if I can work it in because I'm going to be in between a little bit now, depending on, on when the next game arrives. And so this is the time when I can go back. Could be an older game, right? Um, I know like Thunderbolt Apache Leader, I made a video on that. That's a fun game to me, and I wouldn't mind running through that again. I got Sherman Leader, Tiger Leader, um, Warfighter, Zero Leader, B-17. I got all, a lot of the Leader games, U-Boat Leader. Um, so all these games I can go back in, you know, we can, we can make another run at. I also got, you know, Compass games. Uh, I have a lot there. Um, with the Interceptor Aces, um, I like those games. They're easy. Of course, the um, um, Western Front Ace, that's a favorite of mine, too. I love that era. And then, of course, you know, uh, it came from GMT, but Silent Victory, which is another Gregory Smith game that I really like. So any of those, anything that you guys are interested in that I've got, uh, I don't have any problems uh, putting it on the table. Uh, we'll just see how things work out. I like to work. I, I, it's always fun to go back, even to my first solitaire game um, when I started all this back in, uh, what, 2017, probably 2018, uh, Phantom Leader. Uh, I just I haven't played that one in so long. It'd be like playing a new game again. So, I mean, I got all these games to, to try, um, so we can always go back and, and give it another shot and see how it works out. Maybe you like to see something, you know, that you haven't seen for a while. Um, I'm good with that. So, uh, and then just to let you know for the channel, um, today is June 27th, so it's Thursday. And this Saturday, uh, I will be um, co-hosting with, on the uh, War Room with Rough Swordsman Wargamer and ID Jester. So they invited me to be on the show live this Saturday, starting at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested in hearing some, some uh, couple, three guys talk about war games and solitaire games, that's what we're gonna be talking about. We're all three solitaire gamers, so I think we're gonna talk about solitaire games. So if you're interested in that, you know, jump over, jump in, take a look, it'll be, uh, Rough Swordsman's going to broadcast the show, so, you know, you get a chance to uh, check us out. It'll be fun. We, it's, uh, we, we ramble on. We answer questions. We watch what's coming up, questions that you ask, so we have a good time with it. We have a lot of fun talking about stuff that we love to do. All right, so that's kind of where I'm at. Sorry, guys, that uh, I couldn't do better with Coral Sea, but I just can't get my arms around it. I can't get my head can't get my head around it man it's just like can't do it can't do it just gonna have to take a break from it do something different who knows maybe i'll go back look at it again go you know what i'm gonna try it again or maybe i'll set it up and run through it but uh i don't know something's just not clicking with me on that one and i apologize that if you guys are like sitting out here going man i hope he puts up the next turn pretty soon this king not not feeling it right now, and I uh, I hate that because it's the first game I think since I've been shooting videos, um, well, maybe the second one that I've gotten to that I just, eh, I don't know something's something's not appealing to me with this one like Midway Solitaire did. Midway I had a lot of fun playing that one, but this one, I don't know something's different about it. All right, well hey, enough rambling, right? If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, leave me your comments. Give me a thumbs up, please. Gotta get the thumb up high enough for the camera to see it. Give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know. Give me your thoughts. Uh, and you know what? We'll take it from there. All right, guys. See you later. Have a good one.